hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add a stored compute field in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorial so in this tutorial series we already have shown you how to create a compute field in odoo so if i go to the patient's form view and if I open any of the records, here you can see we have a field called age, which is a compute field which computes the age from the entered date of birth. So during that time, I told you that by default, a compute field is not stored in the database. That is, if you open the Postgres database and if you check this table hospital.patient, you will not find a column with this name age that is a compute field is not stored by default in the database so there might be a lot of use case where we have to store this value in the database like if i need to access this field inside an sql query or if i need to use this field in a search view or in graph view or pivot view the field has to be stored in the database so let's see how we can add a stored compute field in odoo so in order to make a compute field stored we just need to add store equal to true attribute along with the field de definition so just we have to add store equal to true but also you have to take care of the dependency of the function so if we haven't specified the proper dependency of the function the computation recomputation will not get happens correctly so let's see how we can add a new compute field inside patient model and let's set the dependency correctly so what i'll do is that i'll be adding a new field inside the patient model to compute the count of the appointment of the patient so if i duplicate this tab here we have appointments and here you can see if i group by patient you can see apple test has got two appointments oru mates has got four appointments pineapple test has got four appointments so let's see how we can add a field here called appointment count and compute the value of appointment count so what i'll do is that i'll go to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons so here we have the om hospital so i'll navigate to the patient.py file so here we have hospital.patient model so what i'll do i'll simply define a new field appointment count equal to fields dot integer so i'll define a field of type integer i'll enter a string appointment count and what we have to do we have to define the compute compute underscore compute equal to underscore compute and i'll give the field name so as i'm going to compute value to this field i'll define the function like this underscore compute the field name now what we have to do we have to define this function so here i'll define the function diff compute appointment count of self then i will iterate self over a for loop for rect in self to avoid the singleton error in odoo then a rec dot appointment count rec dot appointment count so i'll just copy this and i'll put it here and i'll just hard code the value as 10 so from the function i'm returning the count of appointment as 10 now what we have to do we have to add this field inside the corresponding view so i'll copy the field name and i'll go to the views folder here we have patient view dot xml so this is the tree view of patients and here we have the form view of the patient so after the age field we'll click on control d and i'll paste the field in the view now what we will be doing will be restarting the service and let's upgrade om hospital module and see what happens so from here i'll upgrade om hospital module so the module has been upgraded now if i open any of the patient here you can see the appointment count is coming as 10 for every record it will be 10 because we have just hard-codedly returned the value as 10 now what we have to do we have to 
find the exact value of appointment count so in order to get that i will be using an orm method in odu called search count so what i'll do is that so i'll do like this self.env what we have to do we have to search inside this model hospital dot appointment where patient matches with the current record so i'll copy this model name hospital dot appointment so self dot env so i'm initializing an environment of this model dot search count so this is an orm method in odoo which will return the count of given domain so here i'll write some condition so it will return the number of matched records provided by the condition given condition so here i will write the condition and the condition must be like this so here i have to search the patient so i'll check the field name patient id so i'm searching inside this model with this field patient id patient id equal to our rec dot id so rec will contain hospital dot patient so rec dot id so i'm searching the records inside hospital dot patient which matches with the patient id equal to my current record so let's see what happens now so now i'll restart the service and if you go to any of the patients so here we have test i'll just refresh and you can see the count has been zero now now if i open apple test you can see appointment count is two now if i come back here for apple test you have two appointments and if you go to next record Ulu meets has got four appointments four pineapple test has goes got four grapes test zero Ulu meets has got one orange one etc so the compute function is getting triggered correctly now what we have to do we have to make it stored so in order to make it stored what you have to do along with the field definition just add store equal to true so we have done store equal to true now what i will do i'll just restart the service and i will upgrade the module so i have added the store equal to true and if i go to the apps menu and if i upgrade let's see what happens so i have added the store attribute and upgraded the module and if i come to the apple test you can see you have the count as two so that's good you, you can see you have got two appointments for apple test so if you check here yes apple test has got two appointments now what if i add one more appointment for the same patient so here we have apple test apple test i'm creating a new appointment and if i refresh you can see the value is not getting changed that is the value is not getting recomputed by default so this is the thing that you have to take care while you make a compute field stored that is you have to set proper dependency for the compute function in order to recompute the value so still the appointment count is 2 if i duplicate this that is i'm creating a new appointment save you can see the value is not getting changed if we check here apple test has got four appointments but the patient record is showing there is only two appointments this is because the function is not getting recomputed that's why it still shows two so what we have to do we have to set the proper dependency for the compute function like this at api depends then you have to specify on based on which field we have to recompute this function then only the value will get correct so what we will be giving inside api depends currently if you check we cannot give anything from here name no need date of birth rough age if you check we cannot give anything from here like we don't have we need to get something else so what i'll do is that i will add a new one to many field here so i'll do like this appointment ids 
I need a proper dependency to function to get recomputed. So what I'll do, I'll simply add a new field here of type one to many fields dot one to many, and I'll give the core model as hospital dot patient hospital dot patient and here we have to specify a relational field so if you go to the appointment dot py this is the appointment model and here you can see we already have a many to one field to the patient model that is patient id so i'll copy this field and i'll put it here and string as appointments so simply i have added a one to many field inside our module already we have patient id inside this model so using that i have created a one to many field and now what i'll do i'll copy this field name and i'll set it as depends for our function so i have set it as a depends now let's restart and let's upgrade the module and see the difference so i'll go to the apps menu and I'll upgrade OM hospital module. So the module has been upgraded. Now, if you refresh this Apple test, you can see still the appointment count is two. So yet the function is not triggered. Now what I'll do, I'll create a new appointment for Apple test. So here, I'll come here, create, I'll select the patient as Apple test and I'll click on save. And if I refresh, you can see the appointment count has been changed into five so if you check here group by patient you can see apple test has got five appointments which is reflecting over here now so what we have done is we have added proper dependency so every time when we create a new appointment for the same patient the value of this field will get changed as it is a one to many so as the value is getting changed this function will be getting triggered and the correct value will be getting stored inside the appointment count field whenever initially we don't have this depends so that's why the function was not getting recomputed so whenever you make a stored compute field in oru make sure that proper dependency is set for the function so that it will get recomputed correctly so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is orumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you